one. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I, I know. I know. You guys think like 35 out of these 49. I mean, I know one is a yeah. rare example. Walt Menick is a 39% yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Yeah, I think he wins. He could lose. There she yeah. goes. Yeah. 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 Right, this way. That's the base. 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 That's the because, and it moves the number, right? So instead of 39, yeah, remember, yeah, it's a yeah, number. Yeah. There's and Puppy the congratulating her. Yeah. That's three most likely yeah. right now. Louisiana, two. That's uh, Gal. That was the Wayne Jefferson from 90,000 freezer money. <laughs> Delaware at large. Uh, Christine O'Donnell's uh, trickle-down effect there, for sure. John Carney. Illinois, 10, the, the seat that Mark Kurtz is uh, vacating. It's a very Democratic district. They sweep all three of these. Are you crawling? I think they do. You know, six weeks ago, I, I, when I you brought the Democratic strategist, they would say, you know what, the numbers are not actually 39, it's, it's 43 or 44. That was always their, their way that we're going to narrow. That's, that's probably about our third or fourth that's time flipping. That's yeah. how we're going to narrowly hold it. That argument, I think, I was kind two of, of faded. Two of these three races are definite, are definite to go Democrat. Illinois kind of leans Democrat, and then there's a race in Florida for 25th District in Hawaii as well. That's because, and uh, Dan Lund. Elliot. I think they both win because of the year. And a right. different year, they might both win. And Doug right. Riker, Washington 8. Uh, hey, Daddy. She just threw in a whole bunch of money. I have to think of her mouth. Very polarized district, but he is one in bad times. I have to figure he's going to win 52, 48, 50. There's no shocker here, though, that we're missing. All right. Uh, if we are missing, 